How do you want to go in? We'll go to the back door. Maybe he'll let us in. You never know. Yeah. He's a kid. Kids are stupid. <laughs> When the burglars come in to the movie, it's it's a different movie. It's it's a whole other thing. Yeah, it's it's slapstick at its finest. Ah! Freddie Heist put together the stunts. He had uh, Troy and Leon who were fearless. I've never seen guys jump up in the air and fall on their backs the way these guys did. I felt so bad for them a lot of times when we had to do an extra take, but they loved it. They were going for it, and it shows. You know, they were just fearless is the only way to describe them. You know, we get the, the road map, the script, and we'd go over it with Chris. Like, but the paint cane gag, nobody even knew how this would work. I mean, it was just, didn't know if it would knock these guys out. Back then, that was, you went in there and landed on your head and said, how do you like that? But those falls were very difficult, and falling on the tacks and the paint can swinging and everything. And if it doesn't work, if you see it in dailies and you see that the paint can is too far away from somebody's head, you know, you got to do it again. And they got nicked, you know, a lot of times. It wasn't a big budget movie, so there wasn't a lot of uh, special effects rigs and wires and stuff. So it was all basic, you know, hitting the ground hard to make it funny. And so we did everything for real. We didn't ever, you know, use rubber steps or put rubber down on the sidewalks. We just actually did it. Everything had to be so far over the top. <laughs> the Home Alone fall, where the guys all fall. Well, Troy Brown created that. We had no idea that was going to happen until the moment we rolled the camera. We supposed to walk up the stairs and let's just fall down the stairs. I didn't tell Troy to do it. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's January in Chicago. We're outdoors. Grabs the doorknob and does this almost a backflip off the set of stairs, flat on his back. And I thought he broke his neck. I run in there, you know, and Chris goes crazy. Everybody goes crazy. And that created the Home Alone fall. They rely on you to do the stunt, and then you just kind of walk them through where you think you're going to land, where you're going to leave your feet, where you think you're going to end up. But uh, you basically between you and the stunt coordinator, you you work it out together what you're going to do. And then they'll set their cameras according to where you think you're going to land and and uh, where you think you're going to slip on the ice and things like that. These guys were doing these big pratfalls. And because, quite frankly, I was, I was afraid that I wasn't going to get it with these three cameras. So out of fear, out of cautious thinking, we had this small camera. We ended up calling it the bonus cam. Ouch! And it was the throwaway camera that, you know, once we set up the three cameras, you know, bonus cam came in and plopped down somewhere. Well, after a couple of days of doing stunts, the most interesting shot was bonus cam. So then we started to really think about where we're putting bonus cam because it was working and it was great. And the stunt guys loved it because at times they didn't have to do it again. Yes! Chris Columbus likes to shoot a lot of takes. And I think our stunts, he was pretty good. We got it down to about six, seven times. You know, sometimes I just go, hey, that, that's enough. I mean, I, I can't, the guy's eyes are crossed. I mean, we, he can't even get up. <laughs> you want to do it again? You put the clothes on. But he was pretty cool about it. No, he was really very, very good. He loved Troy. He was really good with Leon. I don't care how much padding you wear. When you take a slip and your foot goes out from under you and you, the first, bounce is your back on steps that are there's there was sort of fake ice on them but those were real steps that he went down i mean first of all you don't know that it's is this going to be funny or are you going to be hearing somebody scream the whole time when you're shooting stunts you're you're obviously working with a stuntman and doubles so it, for a producer in some ways there's less pressure because you haven't got your stars on set and everybody relaxes a little but obviously there's the safety issues and so for a producer it's a sort of half a dozen of one and of six of the other because you do worry about 
safety. One of my favorite stunts in the movie is when the two burglars come into the, right below the main staircase in the, uh, in McCulley's house, and uh, McCulley throws micro machines out on the floor. They come flying in, and they both do this upside down fall. I mean, it's just no pads, no wires, no matrix, ah, yeah, crap. It was just real. Two guys flinging themselves in the air to their backs. They don't make stunts like that anymore. This is it. Don't get scared now. The best stunt, though, when we got uh, Macaulay Culkin's double, Larry, on the bobsled when he slides out through the deal. Well, Larry didn't trust Troy and I. We rigged this thing. It, we built a ski ramp inside a practical house, put the toboggan on it, and shot it out the front door. When we did the first test with nobody on it, it shot like 30 feet out the door. It would have killed the guy. So we put all these pads out there, and we build this cable system with a brake on it. Well, when we're doing it, it's going way too slow. And Chris says, yeah, it's kind of slow. Yeah, I go, don't worry, we'll take care of it. And Larry's panicked. And right when we yelled action, I just flipped the brake off. I just took it off. And that's what you see in the movie. It just shoots him out the door. <laughs> Everything in the movie was used, basically. It, every stunt that we did on the show was used in the movie. When we created the Home Alone look, it was Leon Delaney and Troy Brown. And poor Leon, he had to match whatever Troy did. So it, it, it just, it, it created such a buzz after the first movie that Troy and I, it opened up doors for the next 15 years. You know, I mean, I am where I am now because of that. It, everybody wanted a piece of that Home Alone look. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? <laughs>